Hey, this is Ben from 20mm. In my last videos, I unboxed a lot of infantry, and now it's time that we base this infantry to coins, and I'm going to show you how to do this. First, you need to make sure that the coins are almost clean, don't have too much fat or dirt on them. And also you need to make sure that the bases of the infantry are cut well. This, for example, needs to be recut again. You can use scissors or this cutter here I have. And after that, you need a instant glue. I'm using this weird one, but a lot of instant glues are able to glue up plastic with metal. You need to test drive it if you can't get this one. I also have one from uh, Army Painter, for example, which would also do. In the next step, you can start gluing it. So apply some of the instant glue down here. You don't need so much, so this small drop should normally do. Put it on top. Press a little bit, hold for one, two seconds and leave it alone. Should be fine. Continue this with all your infantry. Will take some time, but it works out. So after a while, I decided to move my working plates outside. Since the fumes of the glue are very strong, I would advise you to at least let some fresh air in. Or if the weather is as nice as today, you can easily go outside. I now finished the phase of gluing all the infantry to the coins and the next thing will be that I use some wood glue and sand to sand the bases. So basically I will use this brush with a mixture of wood glue with a bit of water to make it a bit fluid and then you put it on the base wherever you want to have sand here on the outer one i did now too much a little bit and then you take the coin with the infantry and push it through the sand and you will get a sanded base repeat this with all your infantry till you are satisfied and after that i will show you how to prime them After about some time, probably an hour, I finished all the basings here. As you see, all the bases are probably covered with some sand, some more, some less. And whatever is not properly glued by the wood glue will be held together by the primer. So the next step is applying the primer cans. I will be using desert yellow from army painter and i think i got the shaking done so this is the final result after spraying them outside in my next video i might be showing how to paint the uniforms accordingly to their car in the meantime if you like my video Give me a thumbs up and leave a subscription. See you soon.